In this video, we'll look at another type of exponential model, specifically one dealing with half-life. So um, one real world phenomenon, which can be described by exponential decay, is radioactive decay. This occurs when unstable elements spontaneously break down and emit energy and matter from their nucleus. This behavior decreases the amount of the element available at that time, and the rate of decay is a fixed rate called half-life. The half-life of a radioactive isotope is the time it takes for half of the atoms in a given mass to decay or disintegrate. So for instance, let's just say some isotope has a half-life of five days. And let's say we started with 100 grams of that isotope. So in five days, there would be half of that remaining, which would be 50 grams. And another five days, so in 10 days, there would be half of that remaining, which would be 25 grams. And another five days, in 15 days, there would be half of the 25, which is 12.5 grams, and so on. So you can see that we're talking about the time for half of the atoms to disintegrate. In these particular problems, what you may be told is a starting amount, and you may also know the half-life. So if you don't know an ending amount in that case, the ending amount is just going to be half of the starting amount. So let's go through and look at an example. Californium-252 is a versatile radioactive isotope that is used in cancer research, nuclear startups, oil well industry, detecting explosives in airline luggage, and much more. The Oak Ridge National Laboratory produces Californium-252 through a nuclear reaction. The half-life of this isotope is 2.645 years. We want to write an exponential model of the form P of t, which is equal to P sub zero e to the kt, that represents the amount of Californium-252 after t years. And then if a company purchases 120 micrograms of this isotope, how much remains after four years? And then we want to determine when this company has only five micrograms remaining. So this problem in part A, we're looking for the model P of t is equal to P sub zero e to the kt. I may have misled you in the previous slide because we don't always know what the starting amount is. Right now all we know is that this half-life is 2.645 years. We don't even really know what P sub zero is. But what we do know is that the half-life is the time that it takes for half of the original amount to decay. So if our original amount is p sub zero, half of that is going to be one half p sub zero or 0 0.5 p sub zero. Our initial amount, again, we don't care what it is, but that's equal to e to the k we don't know. The time for it to k is 2.645 years. So notice when we divide each side by p sub 0, that p sub 0 divides out on each side. So we're just left with 0 0.5 is equal to e to the 2.645k. And we can do what we've done all along is take the natural log of each side. So we'll get the natural log of 0 0.5. And on the right hand side, the natural log of e to the 2.645k is just 2.645. 5k. So to solve for k, we can get 2.645. Divide each side by that value, and therefore we get k to be approximately negative 0 0.26206 if we round to five decimal places. So the exponential model is p of t is equal to p sub 0 e to the negative 0 0.26206 t. 
keep in mind we do want to get a negative value of k because we're talking about a decay model. In part B, it says if a company purchases 120 micrograms of the isotope, how much remains after four years? Well, now we know this model, this particular company has 120 micrograms. So 120 is our P sub zero, E to the negative 0 0.26206 we want to figure out how much remains after four years. So we can substitute four for t, and then use our calculator to figure out this amount. And we'll get approximately 42.1 micrograms. Then part c says determine when this company has only five micrograms remaining. So this is when we're going to set our function equal to 5. So we'll set 120 e to the negative 0 0.26206 t equal to 5. We can divide each side by 120. So e to the negative 0 0.26206 t is equal to 5 divided by 120, which I'll just simplify that to be 1 divided by 24. And then if we take the natural log of each side, we'll get negative 0 0.26206t is equal to the natural log of 1 divided by 24. So now we can divide by this coefficient. and find that t is equal to approximately 12.1 years.